the good. The bad. The ugly. The FCS powerhouse North Dakota State Bison go to Boulder and take on the Colorado Buffaloes in a nail biter. This is the Good, Bad, and Ugly film review. Let's get it. The Good. All right, before we get started, just to let you know that YouTube does demonetize these videos because of the footage that we use. So we're just simply asking if you like what we're doing. Go ahead and hit up the Cash App or PayPal or even put in a Super Chat, man. We really appreciate it. It does help this channel grow and continue to give you this great content. Also, you can become a member. Check it out right there in the description below. Just $4.99, $1.25 a week. Can't beat it. Let's knock this thing out, man. Colorado takes this thing off, man. All right, here we go. We got, uh, we got North Dakota State coming in. It's third and five. And here's what's good about it. Watch this. Check this out. Beautiful, beautiful play right here. Mm, great job. Look how they come in there. They make this stop. Shout out to Bentley. Fights through right here on third and five. Forces them to punt. Great job. Great job. All right, here go another great one. I'm loving it, right? We already know Colorado had some issues with running the ball last year. They said they were going to put a little bit more emphasis on it. Charlie Offerdahl on third and four. Takes it right up the gut on the inside zone. Bingo. That's all they needed for the first down. And here's the great part about it. Look at the blocking here. Look at all this sealed up. Blocking, blocking. First person can help him. Right here is this reduction safety. And by the time he gets in there, it's too late. That's what you want from your team, man. Great job right there. All right. Second and one. Great play, right? And I'm not mad that you throw it on second and one. Why? If it's incomplete, it's third and one. You got two downs to get one yard. Here's a great job. I love the way they manipulate this by motioning this guy out. It empties the box. When you empty this box, what does it do? You know you got the slant. And look at this guy. He's headed up to almost outside. So you know you got all this vacancy right here. Only thing you got to really worry about is maybe a defensive lineman dropping out in here. And that's very rare. They do it, but very rare. All you got to do is pitch and catch it. And look at Wester taking a lick and keep on ticking, baby. <laughs> Let's go. First and 10. Great play right here. And again, we're going to look at it. You can't see it from this particular cut. But you get the one-on-one -on -one up top. There's actually a safety sitting right here. He's going to do what? He's going to bail to the middle of the field. And this safety is going to come down. You'll see it right here. See him come down. This safety is going to go to the middle of the field. And it's going to create a one-on-one -on -one matchup. With the number one player in college football against, I don't know what level that dude is. And I definitely don't know what level that dude is, but what I do know is it's a touchdown. Shout out to Travis Hunter on that play, man. Second and five, Shador stands in the pocket. Now, here's what's big about this, right? And we talked about this. Shador took a lot of hits last year, and he took some hits in this game as well. But one thing I can tell you about number two, number two, tough as nails, man. Stands in his pocket. You see it collapsing around him. Both tackles are almost right in his lap, right? Both offensive tackles are in his lap, and it's starting to collapse. He steps up, and he's got pressure on him. He delivers this ball and gets it out, has enough arm strength to make it happen right there to Jimmy Horn, right? And Jimmy Horn got the speed to pay the bills, man. Shout out to him, man. Shout out to Jimmy Horn. Here we go. Watch. We can pay attention. Check this out. And here's why I think it's going to be a big issue. You're going to see Seton right here. He's giving too much. You're going to see uh, whoever 56, I believe that's Tyler Brown. He's going to give up too much. And he actually gets viced in here. And then this is going to start to collapse on him. So he's actually pinned in this circle right here. But he's got enough wherewithal to do what? Stay in here. Step up in the pocket a little bit and deliver this ball. That's huge right there, man. Let's pay attention to it. See how it's collapsing around him? Right? They bring this guy. Seven doesn't have enough. They all over him. Boom, it's a wobbly, but five can make it happen and holla at you. Touchdown. That's big right there, man. Huge. All right, first and 10. 433 on the clock for the half. They got to make a play. Big play right here by Jimmy Horn. I love it. Again, you see in the pocket, this is going to be an issue, guys. Look at this pocket starting to collapse around him. Watch this. I just think the tackles give up too much ground. 
right? Look how it's, cl it's closing in on him right now. So he's, they're forcing him to step up in this pocket, which he does, and delivers a strike to Jimmy Horn across the middle. Let's go. Great job. If he would have stayed on his feet, I would have been touched down. Another big play, third and two. Got to get off the field on third and two. Right here, third and two. Let's get off the football field. Great play. Make it happen. Big stop right there. Trevor Woods, uh, as Coach Prime called him, the Brian Erlacher of Colorado in there, mixing it up a little bit. Great job. And they end up punting the ball. Third and four. Got to do what? Got to be able to convert this. Your back is against the wall. And I'm going to say this again. Look at the tackles. I believe they give up too much. They give up too much. Look how this stuff is collapsing around him. And then they're starting to get that push right in the middle. Luckily, Shador navigates his way through, finds an opening. But here's a great strike on the run to Travis Hunter on the sideline. God, hey, come on, man. That's big time right there. He could have actually, in the thing, hey, be funny. This is where you know a kid trusts his arm. He could have actually run this right here. He's got all the space in the world to run this to get the first down. He trusts his arm. He trusts 12. They make a play. They make it happen. Big time right there. That's big time. Whew. I mean, that's sideline tiptoe, man. Second and 10, 19 seconds left in the half. This is a great play by Shador. Watch this. I mean, standing in, oh, took a shot. But let's go back a little bit. They're going to loop this guy around. And here's what's important, right? Play recognition. Understand, offensive line has to understand this. You got three guys heavy here and a solo rider. So you know they're going to probably stunt here, stunt here, and come around through this way. And this guy should have held contain. He actually loses the contain and goes here. And that causes Shador to get an opportunity to get outside. All right, and I tell people, once you let a quarterback get outside, what happens? You make it harder for all these guys back here to cover. And so they have to recognize this. You're going to actually see he's not going to pay attention. He's going to see it at first, and then he's going to bring his attention this way. And that's where it's going to become an issue. So you got to be able to pay attention to that, right? Here it is. See it? And by the time he get his head back around, it's too late. He is up the middle, going to create pressure. And 55 loses it. Shador's got enough to get around outside. Now it becomes a problem. It becomes an issue. All right. Boom. Now, here's the best part about this play. He feels it. He stops his feet, gets his bearings, and drills this thing. But my man right here ain't having it. He finna give him some sweet chin music, boy. And this is where Shador has to be careful. You won't be able to last the season taking these kind of shots, man. I know you want to stand there for your team, but my goodness, my brother. Whew, this was a tough one. Watch, pay attention right in here. Pay attention right in here. Oh, God. Oh. But throws a dime right there to Wester, man, to convert it for the first down. All right, here we go. Nine seconds left in the half. All right, again, look at the amount of pressure. It's collapsing on him. Now it's coming up the middle. All right, again, the, the tackles are giving up a lot of ground, but he beats him right here up the middle, beats the center Zelenskis, and Shador still has enough to get that ball, step in there, taking another hit to the right in the chest. Uh, gives it to Jimmy Horn. Oof, good job right there. Two seconds left in the half. What do they do? Mata, never miss Mata for the field goal, man. I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. Great plays. All right, here we go. Third quarter, 13-20. Look at this, bro. Look at the snap of his wrist, man. Right? Jordan Cena is working him out here. No, really no pressure to the side. But look how he snaps this ball, man. Ugh. Travis Hunter is a, a ball player. He need to put a P on his thing for player, problem, whatever. Now, I will give Travis this. I will have to. I got to bring this out a little bit right there. You saw a little push off to the face and he got away with it. But right here, you're going to see him extend out a little bit. A little push off to the face It's part of the game. It is what it is. If the, if the zebra don't call it, it's not a call I get. See it right here. Right now, people can say what they want to say. Hey, if he ain't call it. And we didn't call it. It is what it is. Let's roll with it. <laughs> he got away with one. All right, here we go. 
Third and five. Got to get off the field again, right? Look at the pressure. Look at the push. Got him bent back. This same pocket has collapsed on him, but he can't get his way out. Big tackle right there. Shout out to, I believe that's Shadozi, if I'm not mistaken. First and 10, 949 in the third. Look at this shot, man. Bingo. Only thing I'm going to say, I ain't mad at it. It's an open shot. Get it out there. Let him go make a play. But great tackle right here. Great pursuit by the Bison. But big time play. Ugh, this dude here, killer. I love what I love what Shador does here. Watch how far he rides this in. Then he comes out, stands tall in the pocket. Look at him get his hips around. And he know where he going. He finna fire this thing. And number 12 makes a big play right here. Now, a lot of people thought, oh, it was a push off. I didn't see it that way. His momentum kind of carried him. It is what it is. Not like the last one with a hit to the head. Third and eight, got to get off the football field. No, sir. No, sir. Look at Trevor Woods. <laughs> Let's go. Let's take a look at this. Now, I will say 53 lost contain right here. You want to try to keep him in his pocket as much as possible. So you want to try to build his wall out here and make him step up to Trevor Woods, who's coming around here late. Unfortunately, guess what happens? You kind of get stuck in here. He comes and he gets around. Faster quarterback, like maybe the one from Baylor, makes you pay. So you can't can't get caught up with that. You got to be able to keep your lane integrity, and you got to trust that the homie's going to make the play because Trevor Woods makes this play right in here. Okay, let's take a look at it. Boom, gets away. He misses the tackle. And like I said, if it wasn't for Trevor Woods, I think he definitely outruns this guy and would have probably gotten the first. But guess what? Get off the football field. Love it. Third and two. It's a little interesting right now. This is what I'm loving, Colorado. Get back to it. Get back to it. Let's go. Mm. Get behind your pads, Charlie. Get behind your pads, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie is stomping with the big dogs. Look at him. Ugh. Third and 10. Let's go. Got to convert this deal. Taking another shot. All right. Taking another shot. Ugh. Shador can't keep taking these shots, man. Look at this. Look at this. Now, some people say, oh, that's late. I mean, God, ball just got out. They want to call it, call it. So be it. But guess what? Big time catch by 12 again. First down. There it is. Third and goal. Got to get this deal in. Unbelievable, bro. Come on. Again, one-on-one. -on -one. In this corner from, from, the, uh, from North Dakota State. I mean, bro, this is not bad coverage at all. I mean, you all in there. Might be a little bit of pass interference if you ask me. But number 12, I'm telling you, Coach Prime, I'm giving you an extra letter. You got L's for leaders, D for dogs, but you need a P for a problem because this dude is a problem, boy. He is a problem. Look at this. I mean, come on. It might, like I say, it could be even a little bit of pass interference up in his joint. But look at this. God. Shout out to 12 in the building, man. First and 10. Let's go. They bring him down. Shout out to Bentley on the sack, man. Great job coming around, pursuing to the ball. But look at the beauty of it. He keeps the wall outside. Look at this. He keeps the wall and he can't escape. He builds the wall right here. So when he tries to go here, he gets caught up. Got to come back around and you see Bentley fight his way through there to make it happen. Check this out. Watch this wall. See that? Now he has to step up through this. And now it becomes a problem. Cam Miller can't. Oh, that's not Cam Miller. The backup quarterback can't escape and makes it a big loss. All right, here we go. They end up scoring. They're trying to go for two. Great job right here. I just want to say great job stopping them going for two. All right. I will say this. You got two adjacent receivers. They don't play in and out. They play it straight up. I have him, right? I have him. I have him. But you know, when you get adjacent receivers, guys within five yards, look for the switch route. Look for the switch route. And that's exactly what they did. Okay? It was just a bad throw. If this guy can pick him off, all right, he can come out here with an easy catch, walk in for the touchdown. All right? And that's not what you want. That is not what you want. Look at that. Better throw, that's touchdown, okay? Better throw, that's touchdown. All right, third and eight. Got to what? Convert this deal. Let's go two. 
Let's go to crazy, crazy. They get the PI, but again, takes another shot. Look at this. Keep it alive. And he can really take another shot right here by 56. Big shot right there in the chin. Some sweet chin music. They end up converting this deal for the pass interference and keep the sticks moving. That is the good. Now let's get to the bad. The bad. All right, here we go. Second and seven. We're talking about bad. These are plays that uh, didn't work so well. All right. Early in the game right here, you see it. This is a product of plain man. They, they clearly show you. They put this motion in play so he can say, okay, they're in man. Trevor Woods has the running back. They're going to run an angle route right through here. Right. So he's going to look off this way. He's looking this way. So he doesn't pay any attention. By the time you realize he comes right back and throws the angle, the half back angle right up underneath. And if all my Madden and college players out there, y'all know that route is real. Check this out. See the look off right down the middle. See he's looking off. Now look at Trevor Woods. Bad technique. Look at his eyes. He's looking at the quarterback. He's not paying him any attention. He feels him, but he doesn't pay him any attention. Before you know it here and back up through here. And there it is. It's going to be a big play right here. Boop. Right under the hip. Let's go. You just lucky my man right here don't have no big time wheels, man. All right. Second and 13. Second and 13. Again, playing man. And they played man in this deal and nobody went with the guy. So let's pay attention to this. You're going to see this, this guy come in here. Right, little in motion. He's gonna run a little under route. No big deal. He comes and he stops. Once they snap the ball, he runs this. Nobody comes to this side. All right. So now he has it because everybody else is focused on their guys. Okay. And you got a tight end here that he's focused on. He's locked up and he's the free hitter. This is big. This is manipulating man defense. And this is if Colorado's going going to live and die in man, then guess what? They got to find mechanisms to fix this because this is what happens. All right? There it is. See him go under? He stays. Nobody goes with him. Now Shiloh's the last line of defense. Luckily he makes a good tackle there. Little extra now Shiloh, little extra. Come on, man. You got to be a little more disciplined to one. All right, first and 10. Again, big time play. This is actually a very good play. A little whip route inside the one. But again, you're playing man. You have no true help. Go hit him with a nice route. Hit him here. Come here and back inside. Seven is waiting on it. Great eye discipline to hold the safety down the middle of the field. And he's going to hit him right up underneath. Great job right here. Okay. Boop. Caught him. Make a play. They just don't have the overall wheels, man. And this kid got pretty good speed. But Shiloh did play well in open field but shiloh again look it's too much but you don't need the extra push bro they let you get away with this stuff right he's out of bounds now the little push right there into the wall come on man look referee just not calling there's one back here that's just not calling come on don't hurt your team third and seven got to be able to get off the off the field there you go. Quarterback that's got wheels can make plays happen. Catches them right at the sticks, man. Catches them right at the sticks. Got to be able to keep that contained inside. All right, here we go. Now we got motion, but I want you to pay attention to something. And I want to show you something that coaches do this all the time. Believe this or not, you're going to see a play very similar to this. They motion this guy here across and they saw him come with them there's a guy upstairs charting this play looking at this vacancy i want you to remember this because i'm gonna show it to you later on in this film all right but what you're going to get right here is a wheel route by the running back up the sideline and, he, and his guy's going to get caught up who is his guy pay attention watch this i'm gonna show you what this is this is actually a bunch set believe this or not that's still a bunch three receivers okay you got a, a tight end a wing and a halfback. That's a bunch look. But they're playing it straight up man. He's got the outside guy. He's got the tight end. And Trevor Woods has the uh, running back out the backfield. Well, guess what? They're going to catch him up and get him caught up in this traffic. And you're going to see the wheel route come right up the sideline. And there's nobody home. Pay attention to it. Watch this. See the traffic? 
Trevor Woods get caught up in his traffic. So they got to find a better way to play bunch and, and, and stack sets if they're going to play man. They're not calling pick routes, guy. Yeah, y'all can complain all you want to. They're not doing it. See Trevor Woods trying to get over the top? He's got to get over the top of this trash, okay, to catch him here. He doesn't do that. He takes it flat, and he gets caught up in the in his wash. And now this guy's focused on his man. He's focused on his man. And now it's nobody here up the wheel route, okay? That's big right there. That is huge right there. Like I said, they just don't have the wheels, man. Third and two. All right, here we go. Second and five. I just told you it's coming, didn't I? Now watch what they did. I, I want to really explain this play to you guys. And this is play recognition. First thing, if I'm a man and my, watch this now, I'm playing man and my guy is on and he is on. First thing I'm thinking, unbalanced, unbalanced. Because if he's covering, if he's covering him up, he can't go out for a pass. See, this is where players, and this is where players who are experienced understand this. This guy is locked up like nobody business, like we playing in the backyard. But what he has to realize is if he's covered up by this receiver, he cannot go out for a pass. So what does that mean? Typically, it means what? An unbalanced formation or it will be one. What they did is put the guy that's supposed to be on the line. He's off back here. We used to call his exit, meaning he's about to make an exit and they motion him across. But watch what happens. He follows. Now, guess what? All of this is vacant. All of this is vacant and this is big. What do they do? It's a numbers game. I'm going to play it, then I'm going to pause it because I'm going to show you something. All right. Once he leaves, okay, he's going with him. Remember, once you split this by the center, all they have is one, two, three. Okay, they're going to cheat this because they're going to bring the guard and the H, and, and the, uh, H back around and lead up. They're going to do a counter motion. All this is old counter trait but they don't have any bodies left. The last line of defense is this guy, 21. This is big right here, guys. This is manipulating man defense. I know I'm taking my time on this and I don't care. Video already demonetized, so go ahead and pay me with a like if you like, appreciate it. But this is about numbers, okay? You bring him over here, you have no help. The linebackers never shift and move over. So what happens? You bring the guard here. He's gonna get the kick out block here. You're going to get him. He's going to fold up onto this linebacker here. And before you know it here, he's going to pop right through here. And you're going to see Shador have to make a great open field tackle. All right. A great open field tackle. I told you, coaches are smart. They use that motion to see how you react to it. Even though I know they're going to do something different. But they say, okay, we got us one. And here you go. Boom. Seal the linebacker. And now if he had any bit of speed, he'd be off to the races. But I got to give a shout out to 50, dog. Great hustle. Great hustle up there, nephew. All right, third and one. Come on, you got to get off the field, right? What do you do? You get caught in the wedge. Look at this. All they're doing is wedge blocking all of this down, wedge blocking everything. Quarterback is smart enough. I think he was supposed to actually give this, but he doesn't. He keep it and it falls right through here. Why? Because everybody gets caught in the wedge with them. They bounce it off. And here it is right here. It slips through. You're going to actually see him because he does this. He's going to do this. And that gives him the lane to slip out here and for those guys to make a tackle. There it is. That's all they needed. And there he is. That's it for the bad. Now let's get to the ugly. The ugly. All right, this is fourth and four. They made the stop, but they go ahead and kick the field goal. I put all scoring on it ugly. This is what I do, even field goals as well. Great edge right here. Trying to go for it, kick it right down the middle, and it's true, three, three to seven. Again, let's talk about man. Here we go with man defense, and they are excellent with these rub routes, guys. This is what I'm talking about. You got to pay attention. Look at his alignment. He's lined up tight for a reason. He has him. Guess what? He has him. All they're going to do is pick this dude. He's going to get in his way enough for him to do what? Come here and slip out this way. That's all they want. They want to get in your way. If you're going to live in the man world, you got to be able to fight through these things because that's how they manipulate you. All right, let's pay attention to it. 
There it is. He sees it. And what does he do? He's going to get right in his way. Okay. He's going to get right in his way. And he already got the angle. All the quarterback do is got to throw it up there. Easy, easy money. Easy money. I hear it. Here we go. Third and eight. Got to get off the football field. That's got to always be in your mind. All right. Now, why is this? You say coach is incomplete. How is that? A, how is that an ugly play? Well, here's an ugly play. Let's talk about it. It's ugly because guess what? It's third and eight and they line up off sides. He's lined up off sides. Guess what happens? If you line up on sides, he throws that incomplete. Either they got to kick a long field goal to try to go for it. But guess what ends up happening? You'll see it here on the next play. Because you line up off sides, you give them five yards right here. They can end up converting that and you'll see what ends up happening. Watch this. Just because you lined up off sides, you got to be aware of where you are. That would have been fourth and eight. They would have had to punt it. See the flag right here? That means he's offside. Well, here they go. Second and five. Because of that penalty, this is what's happening now. You can't shoot yourself in the foot. And there you go. Easy work, right? Easy work. Now, I'll say this. This is a miscommunication. If he's going to come in here, you got to be out here just for the zone read. Okay, because if he pulls, especially with a quarterback that you know that can run it, you got to be out here. He went in here. He went in here. Therefore, now when he saw that, he pulls it. And now you're outflanked, my man. He didn't even wait for his blocker or the extra guy. So you got to be able to understand what you're doing within the integrity of the defense. And that's what didn't happen. See him stick his nose in there being nosy. Quarterback pulls it. Holler at you. Now, right here. Hey, that's a holding call straight up. Straight up holding call, but they didn't call it. But I think it went both ways evenly in this game, in my opinion, right? You got guys hitting people laid out of bounds. You got a push off. You got holding. It was a lot going on, man. So I think the refs were real lenient in this game, and they probably could have tightened it up just a little bit more. But that's just my thought. But there it is for the touchdown. Be nice if I get that circle off the, off the screen, huh? Fourth and one. Very controversial call here in the fan base. Coach Prime even talked about it in the press conference. You're down by three. They, I believe they have scored every drive, if not maybe one so far in this game, whether it's a field goal or a touchdown. You're in your territory. You're on your 40-yard line. Do you go for it? Personally, I don't go for it because... They've shown they have stopped it, okay? However, they're going to show it again right here. And the reason I don't go for it, put them down the field, let them make their own mistake. Punt it, you got a, you got an NFL caliber punter, put them to the test, all right? They go for it, and guess what? They don't get it. And here's why. Let's look at the push. No offensive line push here, guys. None. Look at the center, blown up right here. You got... The tackle, he out here pass blocking. He should be wedging this. I don't know why he's paying him any attention. There is no reason in the world you should be out here standing up with this guy. Y'all should be hip to hip wedging this thing, getting a drive, getting a push. You out here playing with this dude. Leave this dude alone, man. Leave this dude alone. Look at this. Y'all should be hip to hip wedging all of this. Wedging all of this. And second is, this is a little too far for me. In my case, you should be a little bit tighter. But that's okay. It's not my team. I get it. All right. And then also you got Benson right here, I believe 67. He's standing up. Look, this is the offensive tackle. You can't be standing up on this plate, bro. You can't be standing up this high. You got to be head and shoulders in this thing, driving this pile, man. All right. Head and shoulders in the driving the pile. Nowhere in the world on a wedge plate, no offensive lineman should be up on his feet. No way, no how, no haps. Big time stop right there for them. Big time stop. All right, here we go again. Look at the manipulation. They see you in man, you're going to chase it. Let's see what happens. Third and six. Well, make a great play. Here we go. Self-inflicting wounds. It's third and six. They don't complete it. They don't complete it. 
They're up by what? They're up by three. Get off the field. Great pass rush right there. Look at this. Ball is clearly. Come on, man. Hits the ground and everything. Come on, Shiloh. Come on, Shiloh. This is clip. great coverage. Come on, great coverage. No need. No need at all. Ball didn't even touch his hands. It hit the ground. You can't even act like it. Come on, Shiloh. You can't even act like, brother. You know, you dislodging the ball. Beep. Come on, man. Look at this. Ball already hit the ground. You hit him. Now, I know it's slow motion, but that's clearly hit the ground. Guess what? Automatic first down. Automatic first down. Unacceptable, bro. By the grace of God, they didn't score on this and they kicked the field goal because I'm going to tell you, the game would have been completely different. They would have now scored a touchdown. It's 24-14 going in here. They end up kicking the field goal, cutting it right down the middle. All right, here we go. Third and four. Time to get off the football field. I mean, time to convert, excuse me. But you end up getting a sack. Let's pay attention to it. All right, they got a lot of a lot of movement. I told you, they're getting a lot of penetration up here. And they're only bringing four. They're only bringing four. It's not like they're bringing a bunch of people. Look, they only brought four. They dropped one. Right here. They dropped the defensive end back. They brought the blitzer from here, 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 here. It's only four. It's five against four. Should not be getting this much penetration in this deal. I think that's his first sack of the season, if I'm not mistaken. All right. End up having to punt the ball. All right. Here we go. Third and goal. Third and goal. Now, I mean, I'm not necessarily mad at this. I really is ugly because it's a turnover. I don't know where Shador was trying to throw this ball. It was very short. Um, maybe he was throwing it low and away. I don't know. But this is football and the craziest things in the world happen. And look where it hits. Right on the back of the dude's leg pops up. And my man 36 is right there for the pick. I mean, it's, the, it's football, bro. It's football. I mean, look at this throw. It's super low, right? I don't think it's catchable by any means. But look at this. Hits the dude right in the, in the calf muscle as his leg is going down. Pops straight up for the interception. I mean, I don't fault anybody, but it is football. I just don't know where he was going with the ball. I'm just trying to see where. Maybe just an errant throw. I don't know. But look how crazy that is. Wow. Hit the dude in the thigh and get the lucky catch. All right, here we go. Second and 10. You down by 11. It's 228. All right, here we are. Okay. They played this not that bad. I have to be honest. It, it's, it, it's not bad. Here's the problem. They lose the edge. Okay. Right in here. Right. The guy falls down, loses the edge. He steps up, sees it, turns around. Once this tight end releases, he goes and chases. Everybody was getting on him. Why did you turn around? He's a man. That's not his job. He did his job because what I can tell you is if he stops and comes here, he's going to dump the ball off here. So he's in a no win situation. He did his job. Right. It's easy for us watching it on the TV screen to say these things. For the most part, he did his job. Watch this. He's already beat. So he's got to catch up. Before you know it, the field vacates. Easy touchdown. All right. First and 10, 140. Here's the most controversial play here for the team. Colorado, I'm sorry. North Dakota State has one timeout left. One. Snap the ball. It's already dead. So the clock is, is died. But when you throw this pass, and, and in the press conference, they say Shiloh, Shador checked to this because Wester had him beat. True indeed, he had him beat. He did. But at the end of the day, you're in a nail biter. Get out the football game, right? Look at this. If he connects it, it's touchdown. But he didn't, okay? He didn't. But here's the worst part about this, and I want people to understand this, why this was so dangerous. You could get a strip sack here, where they stripping tomahawk. Look, look how close this is. You could get a tomahawk hit, the ball pop out, they scoop and score this thing for the touchdown, 
right? You could get sacked there. You could get hit. You could get hurt. You don't have to do that. But once that ball became incomplete, guess what happened? You gave them additional time out. So now the clock stops. See? The clock stops. Fortunately for you, you end up giving it back to them. If that clock would have run out, remember it's 40 seconds. 40 seconds. So imagine if that was a run and 40 more seconds run off of this on second down. Right? They only got one timeout, but you gave them two. Come on, man. So however they want to fix that in the coaching room, that's on them. It's their team. I'm just saying we got to be a little bit more aware than that. All right. Five seconds left. Hail Mary, full of grace up in this joint. Okay. Amazing. This kid just didn't have enough arm. But I put this as ugly because everybody from little league to high school to college to the NFL, knock it down. No, coach, I'm a GDI, gosh darn individual. I want the interception. You miss it, and look at this, pops right in his hand. Four yards from victory. I want people to understand that. Look where he's, he's here, touchdown is here. Four yards from victory. Four yards could have been a difference between a win and a loss. Guys, you gotta be a little bit more disciplined in this when it comes to this game. Gotta be a little bit more disciplined. That's amazing right there. Amazing. And that's it for the ugly. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The North Dakota State Bison come in the boulder and play those guys tough. It could have been ugly, but the Buffaloes pull it out at the end. And as they say, a win is a win. Coach Prime and his staff got some things to fix and some things to build on with some success, man. Shador, Travis, and Jimmy lit it up. Defense got to fix a couple of holes and they headed to Nebraska next week to take on one of the top five star freshmen in the country in Dylan Riola at Nebraska. We'll definitely see how it turns out. But in the meantime, in between time, Coach Hayes will catch you at the 50 yard line. Peace. <laughs>